Over the past couple of months, we've seen Solana's price drop substantially from around $200 per coin to a low of around $120 per coin. But now that we're starting to see the market flip, things are getting a little bit more bullish. This is the sector that during this cycle, we've seen the most amount of millionaires made. And this is where you see meme coins go from less than a million dollar market cap to over a hundred million dollar market cap in a matter of days. So I want to talk about a project that hasn't launched just yet, but it's one that I've been keeping my eye out on and it's called Babuki. The reason why I wanted to talk about this project is because if you're looking at Solana meme coins right now, you can see that Solana's TVL has dropped pretty substantially. It was around almost five billion dollars in March and now it's around that 3.8 billion dollar mark. But if you're looking at Solana meme coins in general, you could see that um, cat and meat themed meme coins have seen a lot of traction and the most potential over the past couple of weeks. We saw that dog meme coins with the big hype. Then we saw, you know, other meme coins start to rally. And it looks like cat meme coins are the sector that we're going to see take off when we see the market begin to rally yet again. We can see that many of the top accounts on Twitter have talked about this as well as we've seen PopCat, you know, recently uh, rally. They think that, you know, Mew, Meow, many other meme coins could rally. We saw um, Manke recently launched hit around a hundred million dollar mark cap in a very short period of time. So that's the reason why I'm keeping an eye out on Babuki is because this is a token that hasn't just la launched just yet. But if you go to their website, you click on join presale, their presale is coming up very soon in just a couple of days. And it's a project that if you look at it in terms of what they have going for them, they already have an MEXC listing confirmed. They're in that cat meme coin sector, which is expected to do extremely well over the next couple of weeks as we see the market start to you know bounce back they have a base team og marketers that have done over 50 projects in the past 50x projects um they have been trending you can see there's already youtube videos that are talking about them and this is a project that is getting at the right sector of the market at the right time has a strong team and is launching at a time where we're finally starting to see a little bit more positive sentiment come back into the market so for that reason i am going to be buying this token and keeping an eye out on it as it launches in just a couple days time if we go ahead and look on their website we can go ahead and click on white paper you can see a everything you need to know about it on their white paper. And a few things that stand out to me is that they are that cat meme sector. But if you scroll down a little bit, you could see all the details about why they were created in the first place, some features. You can see it says, look, Babuki, a versatile asset born from memes, brings thrilling adventures to Solana's uh, NECO enthusiasts through NFTs and deflationary swap system, fueling growth and passive rewards with its smart token. It says, discover the legends of Babuki, um, embark on a thrilling NFT journey with Babuki for cat lovers, explore three sets of unique designs and rarities, become legends in the cat world with their talented creators. Um, and then they talk a little bit more about their roadmap. They have the roadmap on their website, on the white paper, but also on their website. So if we scroll down on their website, we can see how they do talk about their roadmap right here. So phase one, it says the Dawn of the Kitties is the initiation, unleash the power of personal growth and foundation. So the website unveiling. So that's already happened. Phase two, it says triumph of the kitty. Alliance rally, ignite the flames of marketing, forge alliance of key influencers, and craft captivating chronicles phase three is going to be unveil the token pre-sale launch on radium jupiter orca secure listings on coin gecko and coin market cap and evolve into the next phase of marketing and then to the final phase phase four that's going to be where there's more centralized exchange expansion first batch of bob wif nft launch uh the second batch of those nft launches and then continuing to grow everything moving forward but the other thing i do want to talk about is going to be in terms of their tokenomics because if we're looking at it as some pretty attractive tokenomics 27 percent is for pre-sale liquidity five percent saga holders airdrop three percent for whale wallets airdrop ten percent for centralized exchange look uh centralized exchanges and then 55 percent for burn this is the key thing that 55 percent is the largest percentage i have seen for any of these solana meme coins and that really shows us that look 27% is just strictly like community, liquidity, helping the project initially get off the ground. 3% for whales, that's again a very much community driven aspect. 5% for saga holders, again that is for you know community. And so 55% for burn. So almost the entire supply is not just reserved for the team or something like that, but it's really just to create value for the community. A large percentage is for pre-sale, a large percentage is for burn, and it's very much not a project where you see just a few holders who get a ton of percentage 
And then the rest of everyone is just fighting for a small little portion of the tokens. But this project, you see that a vast majority is going to be just for pre-sale liquidity and for burning. And that brings me, you know, a lot more confidence in this type of project moving forward. If you look at the total supply, it's at 1 billion tokens. You can go ahead and click on audit and see that they did have an audit done by CoinSouls. There have been no major issues in terms of their smart contract, which is exactly what you want to see for a new uh, Solana meme coin and a new meme coin in general. No high risk, medium risk, low risk, or informational risk um, for their smart contract. And that, again, gives you a bit more confidence for a new project that is launching. So if we scroll down a little bit further, you can see they talk about their utilities um, and things moving forward, what their plans are. But ultimately, right now, I think that this project... The reason why I would invest in it is because of the fact that it's not what their utilities are long term or what their plans are because that's not really how a lot of meme coins work. But my main focus for this project is that they're in this cat meme coin sector. A lot of people have been talking about cat memes as of recently. And if you're just looking at what the next sector in uh, meme coins is, that's going to take off, it seems very likely that it's going to be with cats. We've seen dog meme coins explode. Now it's time for us to see, you know, this next wave in the market rallies for it to be with cats. So let me know your thoughts, but this token's called is is called Babuki. It hasn't launched yet. They haven't even launched their pre-sale, but this is something that I will be keeping an eye out on. And I just wanted to share it with you because the market's finally starting to flip. And this is something that I'm going to be keeping my eyes out on.